Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today we will be doing a restyle of Robin Sterling. So in today's video, we'll be getting straight into the restyle. Sorry, no box overview or no review of Miss Robin. I will tell you my thoughts about her throughout the video, but I did skip that part this time for multiple reasons, which I'll explain later. But yeah, we're just gonna hop right into the restyle. Robin came with these kind of thick, chunky, two-strand twists, which I like the idea. I just don't know that the execution turned out very well. I feel like in the stock photos and even in other people's dolls, she looks so much better than mine. So I decided that I wanted to restyle her. So what I'll start off by doing is removing all the rubber bands in the hair. And then I will leave some sections kind of rubber banded together just to make sure that I don't lose that, that pre-thatched part line. At first I thought I was going to need those first two rows of twists to create the, st the restyle that I wanted to, but eventually I ended up just using those first that first row to do the style. Uh, you'll see a little bit later that I released those sections to just kind of hang in the back. So I'll start this restyle as usual. I'm going to use some cold water to rinse the hair out first. After I'm done rinsing the cold water, I'm going to use my Suave Clarifying Shampoo just to get the little bit of gel that was at the ends of her twists. Once Robin's hair has been thoroughly shampooed, I'm going to rinse it out. Okay, so at this point in the restyle is where mistakes were made. <laughs> so I did want to get some of those bends out that those two strand twists left. So I did do a boil wash. I'll totally preface this. The boil wash was way too hot. This is why I don't typically boil wash my nylon because it did that thing that nylon hair from Rainbow High anyways always does, which is shrivel up. <laughs> so it shriveled up a little bit. I did end up having to straighten the hair off of camera so that her ends didn't look so scraggly and fried but it was a thing that I did I, I boil washed her hair so I'll show it to you guys <laughs> And so this is what Robin looks like after a boil wash and a off-camera flat iron. I didn't do a whole bunch of flat ironing to her hair, uh, just enough to kind of smooth it out a little bit. But as you can see, I did end up leaving those two parts at the very front to create the style that I'm going to do later. Alright, and on to the fun part, the styling process. So as I said it earlier, I did use those two front thatch thatched boxes to create the style that I did. I just split them in half and created two ponytails on each side and left a little bit of hair out in the front to kind of do some twist on later. So I secured each one of the ponytails, split them in half, and pulled them tight down to her scalp. I really enjoyed doing this restyle because I knew the style that I wanted to do going into it, but I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to execute it in a way that looked, you know, nice, clean, and wouldn't show any bald spots. Because of course, if you create little ponytails in the hair as, a, as I did, it's inevitably going to create some... Uh, 
spots where you can see the rooting and I didn't want that so what I ended up doing is just pulling two pieces right above her ear to kind of meet in the middle to create the bun it also created some coverage to cover those spots where you could see the rooting so I was really proud of myself and it did take some off-camera like planning and thinking and kind of playing around with the hair to see what would work for this style and I think the result turned out really really well And once I've secured all the ponytails, what I'm gonna do is twist the hair until it's tight and wrap it around to create some Bantu knots. I wanted to include these because her original style is kind of like a protective style for black girls. And I wanted to make some changes to the style, but also kind of stay true to that kind of protective style kind of look. And I think that the Bantu knots really achieved that goal. So I also want to tell you guys why I left out the box overview and kind of the review portion of this video. Well, number one, I was running out of time. <laughs> I wanted to get this video out uh, before Halloween or on Halloween. So that is one of the reasons why this video is going to be a little bit different from my other ones. But not only that, when I received Robin, she was one of those dolls that... I don't know if any this happens to anybody else, but she was one of the ones I wasn't super excited about, but when I received her in person and saw her, I literally could not wait to get her out of the box because she's just so more so much more beautiful in person than her stock photos give. So I wanted to get on a restyle as soon as possible, so I didn't end up filming that portion of the video. Um, and you know, I don't regret it. I feel like sometimes we have to go through life, do what feels right, and just enjoy life everything doesn't have to be filmed so sorry about that guys but trust me in the next video you will get a box overview So one thing I'm ab that I'm about when it comes to giving my dolls restyles is sometimes I like to give them little nods to their original style, especially if I'm doing some aggressive changes to the doll. So I wanted to give Robin back some elements of some two strand twists. So what I did is do did two flat twists in the very front. Uh, I always say this this is not a tutorial so if you want to see how to do flat twists you can there's like a million videos on YouTube on how to do so but yes that's all I'm doing is creating two flat twists in the very front to kind of give her again that nod to her original style where she had all the two strand twists. Okay, and the last step to this restyle is I'm just going to crimp the portion of her hair that is still hanging down in the back. I wanted to give her hair a little bit of texture. I felt like I could have left the hair straight, but with this kind of natural, kind of, again, you know, traditional black girl style, I wanted the back of her hair to have a little bit of texture 
Not only that, but her hair has inches. So I love crimping really, really long hair. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next is just crimp her hair in horizontal sections. And the crimping iron I'm using, I got it on Amazon a couple of years back. It has interchangeable plates so that you can get different size crimps. I'll link, leave a link down below for the iron if it's still available. But I'm using my iron with the biggest crimp that you can get and also on the lowest setting to make sure that the hair does not burn. I forgot to mention I'm also using my cat work Cat Catworks Catwalk Curls Rock, which is of course my favorite cream ever. I use it on literally every single one of my dolls anytime I'm curling, crimping, any of those things. And now to give you guys my thoughts about Robin. So she is one of my favorite dolls. I want to say that, and this may be controversial for me, I may like her better than I like Costume Bella. And when I saw Costume Bella, I was like completely floored. But seeing Robin in in person i really really love her makeup look i love that kind of cat eye look that they're giving all of the rainbow high dolls it really changes the mold really really well i think her makeup look is simple but it also gets the point of cross and references what she's supposed to be which is a spider queen basically <laughs> i love the kind of subtle spider web that's on her outer corner i love the nude brown lip i think that that is amazing because typically they would give the black girl like really pink lips but they didn't do that this time i love that kind of dark vampy nude lip moving on to her dress so i love the dress as well i like that it kind of mimics a two-piece but it's connected with that ring in the middle and she also has real metal chains for her top straps like can you beat that <laughs> and I think that the whole sheer overlay was done really really well of course I like that kind of Robin Robin's egg blue two-piece that she has on under it to kind of give her that modesty oh my gosh the embroidered spider web all over the dress is just amazing it feels super high quality and yes it's a mermaid style gown we've got 101 of those so could we have done something else absolutely but i think it still works for her and i just love the little details of the pearl spiders and the sequence throughout to give her that little bit of sparkle that outfit is just amazing and the shoes the shoes like they ate on the shoes. I mean, the straps to mimic spider webs that you tie all the way up, like amazing. Tens, tens, tens across the board for Robin. So this video will be going up on Halloween so of course I want to wish you guys all a happy Halloween I hope that you guys have some awesome plans tonight even if it's just staying in and watching this video I appreciate you being here and yes have a great October 31st
all right friends and that is all for today's restyle i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while i did this restyle because i enjoyed creating it i really like how i executed this style i think it turned out exactly as envisioned with which honestly doesn't always happen <laughs> But I went into this restyle, like I said, wanting to give her a natural kind of semi-protective style looking hairstyle. And I think I did that pretty well. So please tell me what you guys think down below. Of course, if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment because I love reading your comments. But I will see you guys on Wednesday for the last installment of the Costume Ball series, which of course is Demi Batista. Sorry, Violet, you won't be getting a video but that's all i have for you guys today i hope again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later this week bye happy halloween Spread